お前らを超えて海賊王になる男だ That, that's what started it all for me. I first saw One Piece when I was in sixth grade, and I didn't really understand what Luffy meant by that. And because of that, when it inevitably changed my life, like it's done for so many people, it meant that I was adopting a false and problematic set of ideals. It made me think that life should just be a straight shot towards your dream. Focus on that and nothing else. Make sure you get that done. But that's not it. That really isn't. And when I've tried that in real life, it just meant that I'd get hyper fixated on one or two things for a couple of months. And I would avoid all my schoolwork, wouldn't hang out with my family or my friends. And I was just overall very burnt out, exhausted, and super lonely. But as I've gotten older and as I've experienced more things, particularly due to my humanities class, that thinking has began to shift. If we want to go back to One Piece and that artifact assignment where I philosophically analyzed the series, I kind of now see that Luffy is nowhere near as single minded as I thought. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's trying to be the Pirate King, but he's looking out for his family too. He's helping Zoro become the world's strongest swordsman, Nami make that map of the world, for Usopp to become a brave warrior of the sea, and to help Sanji find the All Blue. He's not, he's not driven alone. By his dream of becoming the Pirate King. A character like that would be Kaido, who, in his pursuit of strength, ignored everything else. And yeah, while、well, now he sits at the top, he's very alone and bored. And that's not how life should be. We shouldn't be alone and we shouldn't be bored. And then looking through other things, which kind of reinforce this, we get to the Philosopher Project. I looked at Miyamoto Musashi, and his whole thing was that don't forget. About everything that's around you. You can fixate on one tree, but don't fixate so much to the point where you forget the entire forest. You have family around you, you have friends around you, and if you make a couple of mistakes, you might have enemies around you. And no matter how much you want them to be there or you don't want them to be there, they're going to be. So it's up to you to learn how to live with that. And I couldn't quite get an example for this, but in Stranger Than Fiction, Harold Crick's whole character arc goes from doing the same thing every day to doing things he also likes doing, but different things every day. He really loved his job and he thought it was great at the RRS, but because he fell into the routine of doing every single day, life for him became boring and really bland. And his life only began to fill back up with color when he started doing multiple different things. He started learning guitar, he started talking to his friends. He started just enjoying life in, its, in a full range of view. Whether that those things be good or those things be bad, he would just be dealing with all of them. And then there's also, you know, we can't forget about my boy Beowulf. When he went to go kill that dragon, he made a couple mistakes, which is why I'm talking about him right now. His pride got in the way of bringing armies to kill the dragon, and because of that, he was jeopardizing the life of his friends and his allies. He wouldn't have been any less of a man, of a king, or a hero if he just fought them with the armies. But his single minded pursuit of heroism led to his death. It was his ego and his pride that got in the way. And with all this being said, and everything I've learned, the gear started turning in my head. And that's when it finally clicked. And here's where I am now. Life really is an adventure. We really should be enjoying it and having fun with it. But we can't forget about all the bad things there. But you gotta take it all in stride. If we hyper fixate on one little thing, we're gonna forget why we love it. We're gonna forget that we love other things. We're gonna use that as a shield for all the bad things. And just because we use it as a shield, that doesn't mean the bad things go away. Everything in life is always gonna be moving. So there's not much point in saying you'll get something done later. Because realistically, there's never going to be a later. You're just gonna keep on be doing the same thing over and over until something forces you to change. And that is really stagnant, sedentary. It's just boring and dull. And that's not how we should be living life. We should be living life day to day, having fun with each thing we do, dealing with bad things as they come up. Go read a chapter of your book right now. Go play a game. Go hang out with your friends. 
Go deal with a messy breakup if you're not happy. Go do your homework. The point is, is that we can't lock ourselves into doing one thing because that's not what humans do. We excel at a range of things. And so we gotta make sure we're doing everything all at once or else we're gonna get caught in that trap and get burnt out and exhausted with life. And that's not how we should be doing things. We should be having fun each day, doing something new each day, shaking things up, finding a new routine, and changing the routine each and every day. Thank you guys, I'll see you later. I'm begging, bro, dude, anything, anything. I'll give you my first point. Subscribe, please, I need this. I need this.